This theory would be set after the Shampa Saga, Goku would be training on the planet of Beerus, Waisai would be giving very hard training to Goku, while Beida and the others were on planet Earth, Goku would have decided to go visit his friends. After two long months, however, he would be stopped by his master Waisai, who with a doubtful face, would say to him Goku, I feel something bad will happen to you. So go carefully and whatever happens do not hesitate to come to the planet of Beerus, Goku. Tells Waisai, Waisai-sama don't worry, I'll be fine, see you later. Waisai was suspecting that something bad was about to happen. Goku would feel the power of his friends, so teleporting to planet Earth. Once Goku arrives home, he sees that most of his friends were gathered. Goku laughing greets of all, however, no one would take him importance. Goku a little doubtful asks what is going on. But again no one would give it any importance. Goku getting serious would say what's wrong with them. Why are they ignoring me? What's going on? Bulma, Chi Chi, Krylin, Pan, Goten, Trunks, and Picoro, which were gathered, they would not listen to Goku. Goku a little angry says, if it's a joke I'm not liking at all, answer why not talk to me. Suddenly Beida would appear, Gojin Sirius would say. Mr. Beida, at last it's time to get rid of my father's garbage. Goku hearing this, he would be shocked. Goku would not understand anything that was happening until they all look with a cold look at Goku seriously says friends what's going on because those faces, did I do something wrong? If it was because I left for two months without warning I beg your pardon Kakarot you are completely useless, we don't need you anymore, you can get the hell off this planet, Goku would say, Beida what are you saying? Because I'm useless, father you only bring trouble to planet earth, the truth is we don't want you anymore, we don't need someone to protect earth anymore, Mr. Wills will take care of us, you only bring trouble and you're useless, Goku seriously what are you saying? Why are you doing this to me? Krylin says Goku get out of here, you are no one anymore, now we have Mr. Beerus, he will take care of us, and if you continue to be on this planet, you will bring us more problems, so do us the favor of leaving or die. Goku Sat says, Krylin why are you telling me this, did I do something to you? I was always good to everyone and never hurt anyone, besides I always protected this planet as if it was my life, can't you see that we only use you? Bulma said angrily, what are you saying? Said Goku, surprised, we had decided from the beginning to use you since you were someone powerful, but now that Mr. Beerus is here we don't need you anymore, he will protect us all. Besides, he is stronger than you, you are just trash, sad Goku would say, friends, why? I loved you like nobody else, I never had bad intentions with you, why did you do this to me? Because you are what you are, a trash that the only thing you do is eat, you never help me in anything, I hope you die Goku, Chi Chi would say with a lot of anger, Goku hearing the words of his wife, would begin to draw a few tears, and that Picoro with a look of coldness says, Goku, you were never Gojin's father. You were never there for your son. Ever since Gojin was little, I took care of him. I taught him many things. All of Gojin and Goten's childhood, you were absent. You are not a real father. You disgust me. I wish you death. Goku very shocked. You too. But why? Suddenly, Goku starts to clench his fists tightly while saying, Damn you all. Why are you doing this to me? You are all miserable people who don't know how to thank someone who protected your lives many times. You are the ones who deserve to die. I was always by your side, damn it, why? Stop whining and die, and Sekto said Beida and then threw a punch in his face, Goku would crash with some rocks, Gojin seriously says, Mr. Beida, let's finish with this scum once and for all, Goku gets up from the rock saying damn you, you are all traitors, I will never forgive you, if it wasn't for me, all of you would be nothing but corpses, I will pay for each one of you, that's what I'm going to pay. Beida passes to the Super Saiyan Blue approaching him a powerful blow, but with much rage and anger, he stops Beida's blow saying, Beida you were like a brother to me, I never imagined that you would also betray me, shut up insect, you always get in my way, you are a disgusting being, now let yourself be killed Kakarot, Goku begins to deliberate, a great power emanating a very warm aura and with a scream he transforms into the Super Saiyan, how could they? I will kill them, Goku throws himself against Beida, Beida could barely stop the attacks of Goku, but Gojin would go to his aid attacking from behind, however, Goku dodges the blow of Gojin, approaching him a powerful blow, Gojin falls to the ground, Beida would take advantage of the moment to hit him a strong blow in the stomach, sending Goku against the rocks, Bulma and Milk would say at the same time, 
kill Goku. Vegeta and Gojin proceed to charge their best attacks. Final Flash, both launch their attacks. Goku a little hurt would be in serious trouble. Goku was about to dodge the attack, but Krylin appears throwing him a blow. Die you Goku. So Goku receives the attack of Beida and Gojin combined creating a gigantic explosion. That damn finally died, said Krylin laughing. Beida and Gojin were too tired because they used all their energies. But in that and the whole earth would start to tremble. What's going on? Asked the Namekian. Gojin very nervous would see impossible. Suddenly, a light would illuminate, appearing Goku, which was in its base state, emanating an uncontrollable power. His key was rising colossally for every minute that passed. Beida, very shocked. It cannot be. How did he survive? Goku was in his maximum power form. Kaioken by 30. You guys tricked me. You're the worst. I can't believe my own family did this to me. Krylin screams. Kienzen. But Goku's arm would be pierced, leaving all the warriors very impressed. Now follow. You, Goku said looking at everyone with an uncontrollable anger. But suddenly, Picoro shouts Mufuba. So, in a matter of seconds, Goku was locked in a bowl. Everyone was paralyzed because they thought that Goku was going to kill them. Thank you very much, Mr. Picoro. I would say to Gojin now he will be locked for all eternity. Beida seriously says, you better have that thing well protected if that breaks. That damn Kakarot will come out and will not hesitate to kill us. Everyone nods their heads, but suddenly a small portal would open. But what the hell? Picoro would say, the bowl would go through the portal, thus closing the portal. Everyone is stunned. Damn it. If that jar breaks, Kakaro will come out and kill us. Gojin says, don't worry, Mr. Beida. We will train to become stronger. And if someday my father comes back, we will kill him. Beida just stares at Gojin seriously. The bowl falls on an unknown planet, breaking and leaving Goku out of the jar. When leaving, Goku would shake the planet where he was, drawing attention to several beings that inhabited that planet. Goku very furious looks everywhere to see where the others were, and goes to Asinarlos, but this would see that he was in a strange place, so calming down, where the hell am I? Goku wondered seriously, who are you? Said a girl and which was looking attentively to Goku, Goku seeing that the power of this did not exceed even a small part of his power, answer my name is Goku and I do not know where I am. Mine is Kalafla, and you are on the planet Sadala. I am the strongest of this planet, so you better not do anything wrong or I will end your life. Goku laughs lightly saying, I do not think you can defeat me. There is a big difference in power. Kalafla gets angry. What do you say? Now I'll show you how capable I am. Fine, if you're going to fight, attack me with all your might, as you wish. Then don't be sorry, Kalafla said, and then attack Goku throwing many blows, but Goku would dodge them without problems saying that's all you've got. Cauliflower very angry, miserable, do not you dare to underestimate the Saiyan would begin to raise its power, Goku would be a little surprised, wow, with that you had more power, Cauliflower at great speed is launched against Goku, both Saiyans were exchanging many blows, Goku laughing would say you fight too well, but you still lack much, angry Cauliflower would finish you as of place, Goku laughing says, well let's move on to the next level. Suddenly, Goku starts to increase his ki making everything. Around him tremble, what's going on? Goku while releasing a great power would say, I call this the Super Saiyans transforming into the Super Saiyan. Cauliflower would be left with his mouth open. What is that power? You are not from this planet, are you? You never saw this transformation? Cauliflower would say, I want you to teach me how to transform into Super Saiyan. Goku nervously says, well, to achieve this phase you have to get angry, get angry. Remember something bad that happened to you. Cauliflower would concentrate and try to get angry, but couldn't Goku seeing that Cauliflower couldn't decide to release more power. Cauliflower confused, what are you doing? Or with a smile, destroying the whole area. I'm going to kill everyone who inhabits this planet and then destroy it. Goku was still destroying uncontrollably everything. Cauliflower very angry, he goes to attack Goku, but Goku with a single blow leaves Cauliflower on the ground. Cauliflower gets up hurt saying you're a damn. For a moment I thought you were someone good, but I was wrong. Before I destroyed your planet I murdered you. That won't happen, I, I won't let you destroy my planet, murder mine. 
people, Goku and his thoughts says good. Good. Keep it up and you can reach Super Saiyan. At that Goku throws a kick in Caulifla's face. She goes flying against the rocks. That's all. What do you have? You're just a weak fighter. How do you think you're going to protect your people with such a low level of power? Caulifla would get up seriously hurt damn it. It can't be that someone like you is humiliating me. Me, the great Caulifla, Goku nervously says to himself, I think I'm overdoing it. Caulifla with a lot of anger starts to raise her power uncontrollably. Goku surprised suddenly her power increased uncontrollably. This girl is not just anyone. Caulifla with a screaming anger transforming into the Super Saiyan 2. Goku was more than impressed. How is it possible that she has passed to that phase so fast? Caulifla very angry says, I'll finish you damn I'll make you swallow your words. This will be a lot of fun said Goku very excited. Thus, both would be about to start a great fight. 